Well, hello my little beauties, it's David Connolly here, the web developer extraordinaire, and today I'm going to give you a top five YouTube channels for web development. Now, if you're wondering why that sentence progressively got slower for no apparent reason, then stay tuned because the reason shall be revealed later on. So, this video is going to be a summary of the top web development channels, I hope I got that right in the introduction, the top web development channels for YouTubers. Now, I know that one or two of you have your own YouTube channels and you're wondering if just maybe you've made it onto this list. You cannot wait for me to finish my long and shambolic introduction You've probably already had a look at the description and to your great disappointment, you've discovered that there are no timestamps. There are no visual indicators of when the transitions happen. And unfortunately, you just have to listen to this slightly annoying, increasingly slow voice with no indications as to when I'm going to actually transition onto the different channels but stay cool here comes the first channel it's coming in at number five the fifth best web development channel for youtubers is not you ding 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 ding. that's right it's definitely not you it's javascript jake this guy here now javascript jake has a youtube channel funnily enough and in that youtube channel he does tutorials about javascript I say JavaScript as if to imply that JavaScript is web development. And like any decent list of this nature, I'm going to be completely oblivious to the fact that PHP powers 80% of the web. We are not going to be talking about any Golangs here. There shall be no .NETs for sure. And in fact, like any decent list of this type, it's going to be dominated almost entirely by JavaScript developers. You're dying to see me move on to the next one. There is somebody watching this thinking, maybe I'm going to come in at number four. Just maybe, just maybe. Well, let's have it. Oh, is that transition? Oh, uh, let, okay. We'll wait just two seconds longer. There you go. There you go. Okay. Coming in at number four. It's the Joker of JavaScript. It's the Joker of JavaScript. The Joker of JavaScript has a great YouTube channel where he gives all sorts of advice and uh, tutorials and does um, JavaScript and it's really great and it's very similar to the other channel. You're not going to visit the thing, by the way, but I am going to talk about this with everybody dying to know if I'm going to move on to the next video. Now, somebody out there thinks that, well, hang on, he's just going to say not you and uh, all of the way through this. And, you know, what's the point in being here? And they're maybe hanging on and saying, well, I'll give it one more shot, you know, and if he does another one that's a jocular thing, then I'm going to leave. These are, th these are not even probably real channels, right? So to that person, number three is real tough candy. There you go. How do you like me now? I'm putting real tough candy in there at number three. Why? Well, because two reasons. Everybody else does. And also, you have to have a female on the list. Today, we are going to talk about the dirtiest word in web development. Okay, dirtiest word in web development. Let me guess. Um, dongle. No. Uh, Trojan horse. Uh, I've got it. Fud. It's FUD. I know it has to be FUD. Go on, say FUD. Ooh, we're going to talk about something dirty. PHP. Take a look at what Real Tough Candy thinks about PHP. It's just not a very nice looking syntax. The dollar sign is kind of obnoxious because you're using two hands or at least one big hand to create a dollar sign for a variable. The arrows can get kind of fatiguing. So there you have it, folks. Obnoxious dollar symbols and fatiguing arrow signs. Tell you what, it's a good job nobody told her about the rambunctious semicolons. Don't you even think about taking up PHP, Donald. Your hands are far too small. 
Hey, Real Tough Candy, why don't you patronize us all and say that you think it's good for beginners though, right? I think it's a great language for beginners. Thank you very much. Now I know that the excitement is building up and you're dying for me to move on to the next one. And somebody is thinking, I wonder if I'm going to be in this list. Am I going to be on the list of best channels? Well, let's move straight on to number two. And at number two, it's definitely not you. Yay! That's right. It's definitely not you. If web development is a party, you ain't getting in. Because at number two, we have Jake the JavaScript Jedi. Jake the JavaScript Jedi has a whole bunch of JavaScript tutorials, whole bunch of videos and gives general advice and stuff like that about JavaScript. Pretty much the same gig as most of these things, but I am going to talk about this channel rather pointlessly and aimlessly for just a little bit longer than I need to. Now, you're probably tempted to just move away, but some of you who have a sort of curious nature are thinking, well, maybe I should hang around for number one. You've looked at the comments for timestamps. Nobody's helping out. You've had a look at the description. No help there. Ain't no point in looking at the screen. You just have to listen to this voice. And to the guy or gal, who was waiting to see if you were number one. I know that you're out there. Well, let's find out because I've certainly kept you waiting long enough. So, the best channel on YouTube for web developers coming in at number one, it's absolutely not you. Yay! It's absolutely not you. Instead, it's JavaScript Jackson. That's right, it's JavaScript Jackson, it's a little JavaScript guy. Now, in case you're wondering, all of these faces that you've seen coming up are actually AI-generated faces of people who do not exist. But right now I'm smiling because the only people who watch videos like this are people who have YouTube channels and they think that just maybe they'll be on the list. Now, there'll be a few regulars who come in for the laughs. How you doing? Nice to see you here. But let us all laugh together because I guarantee somebody has just watched this entire video thinking that they were going to be on the list and instead I'm going to call them a shyster. You're a shyster. I think you're a shyster. And I think that everybody who participates in this cod's wallop is a shyster. And let me tell you why. I don't think that there are too many people nicking about on the planet Earth today saying, oh man, if only I could find a YouTube channel to watch that covers the topic of web development. If only there was such a channel. I don't think that happens. I think that the people behind YouTube are pretty good at building search engines. We have a whole internet of stuff demanding our attention. I mean, not just web development, porn, you know, it's technology, news, you name it. So many distractions and the question has to be asked, is there anyone who woke up today and said, oh, I wish somebody could recommend a YouTube channel? I don't really think that's the planet that we're living in. And even if there is somebody like that, they probably have the attention span of an amoeba. So who cares about that stuff anyway? However, like any video that does a list like this, or at least most of them, I'm going to finish by justifying my calling of the word shyster. Here's why I think you're a shyster. Because like all of those videos, I know the tricks. I am going to give, I believe the trendies call it a shout out. Is that the word you use? Shout out? Yeah, yeah. Is that, is that the word? Good, good. Well, I'm going to give a shout out to some YouTube channels that are much bigger than mine and that absolutely do not need any help from me whatsoever. In fact, the only help I can give these big channels is not calling them out on bullshit. That's the only help that I can give them. But nevertheless, since this is one of those top YouTube channels list, let me find 
some of the more popular channels and just pretend like we're all friends and everything like that and I'm just going to suck up to them because that's the way it goes, right? So I'm looking at my screen, here's Traversi Media. Now I've never met the guy, we shared a couple of emails, he was reasonably pleasant, but I don't really know the guy, he doesn't really know me. However, he does have 1.32 million subscribers, it's a pretty big channel. So let's have a shout out homie dc coming at the crib speaking with gangster terminology shouting to my friend my good friend traversing me i know that's how you do it right is that how you do it let me get see if we can get a bit of help here uh coding phase how is it we do this again traversing me is my brother man oh brother right okay i like it i like it let's go with that so it's brother brad hello brother brad it's Brother DC here, the web developer extraordinaire. You don't need any help from me. <laughs> None at all. In fact, if you ever do watch this video, you're probably just hoping that I'll quickly move on before I start dropping nuclear bombs. I'm kind of an explosive guy these days, you know. But in any event, Brother Brad, I'd like to give you a shout because you don't need any help from me. Hey, by the way, Coding Face, I had an idea. Why don't you put a title in your video that suggests or implies that you have some sort of controversial or alternative opinion of Brad Traversi? Why don't you do that? Yes, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> okay, now here's what you want to do, coding phase, right? The moment they go into the video, you've basically got the click, right? So the way it works now, coding phase, is you... You know how you pretended that you were going to say something kind of controversial or thought-provoking or alternative? Right, good. But now they're watching, so it's fine. It's just absolutely fine. So what you want to do is immediately retract any implication that you're going to say something remotely controversial, remotely interesting, remotely alternative, or heaven forbid dramatic. Let's do that retraction immediately. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about how I really feel about traversing media. YouTube drama. Got him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> y'all got hype. That's what y'all waiting for. Nah, man, traversing media is my brother, man. Listen, I want to make this video to be like an appreciation video. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's how we do it, played like a maestro, thank you very much indeed. Now I'm on YouTube, I've done a search for web development. Who else doesn't need any help from me? Let's see. F oh, Free Code Camp, there you go. 2.75 million subscribers. I'm going to give a shout out to Free Code Camp. You guys, you know, whenever I see you guys, I feel like we are kindred spirits. I have a feeling we might even be beyond any earthly family member relationship. Free Code Camp is awesome, and I'm definitely not sucking up to it because it's a bigger channel that doesn't need help from me, okay? Is that fair enough? Good, good, thank you. Now, who is this? Coder, Coder? Haven't hit, ah, 68,000. Hit the bricks, Coder, Coder. You're not big enough for me. Programming with Mosh, there you go. Can I give a shout to my friend Programming with Mosh? I love this guy. Pro uh, you know, there's only two people that I could vouch for. It's Programming with Mosh, Traversi. Oh yeah, and the others at Free Code Camp. They're the only ones. Is that right? Is that right, coding phase? Good. So anyway, here's what you need to know. It's all a clique. You're probably not a part of it, and that's a good thing. You're probably not going to get any help from anyone. I've not had any. And instead of playing this game, you should just focus on what's in front of you. Focus on building cool stuff. And focus on your glorious journey.